to, to where we're at, like there's some um, companies out there that have just like released a whole automated process for the bills. But mm-hmm. I mean, like the amount of time that is spent tracking down a bill, like the amount of time that an accounting um, employee uses within a brokerage or a, um, an asset based carrier that have to go through those motions to try and track down paperwork just to get paid. The amount of time, like I, I would, I would love to find out how much time because I know when I was um, just you know recently in brokerage, mm-hmm. I that that was like part of our conversation. The, our, our accounting team would be like, "Hey, I can't get this driver on the phone. Can you guys take this over?" So you know yeah. now you're adding another person's salary onto it on top of the accounting, yeah, and you know, just to track down to get the driver paid. You know where it's like we could just have an a complete automated process because I mean I've had drivers lose bill of ladings in transit before. Well, because it's normal because it's a piece of paper in a truck and it's just easy to lose. Like, I don't blame them. How many times have you lost a piece of paper on your desk? So many times. Daily. And they're driving. Like, (laughs) right? (laughs) So, like, the crazy part is, like, it should be easy. I was having this conversation with a customer, like, literally last week where their biggest issue wasn't wasn't even like the broader, st- wasn't even like the location visibility stuff, like the really cool stuff everybody loves talking about. Like, frankly, it was just like you said, uh, we need to get the POD to our accounting team reliably for the right shipments with the right reference numbers because they were spending hours at the end of every week, like just figuring out, okay, matching up stuff, literally almost on like a paper basis. Like, okay, did somebody find, can somebody find me that bill of lading? It is somewhere around here. Can you call the carrier? Can you call the driver? It must be here, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's just a whole, that's a whole other thing. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of times that the shipper creates a PO, the PO is not sent over properly. So then the, 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 the receiver's not paying them. Then we're not getting paid because of one PO number, yeah. you know, like, and it's off by one digit too. Like, it's not like it's the end of the world. They're like, oh, we can verify we received the shipment. It's just the PO is not working. Therefore we can't pay because that PO is attached to that payment. Yeah. And you're like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> like, it's, that's, it's, it's the, that's like the, that's the part that technology becomes really frustrating because it's half automated because every shipper, I have never seen a shipper whose warehouse side is not automated because it is impossible to do inventory without the software. So Correct. obviously all their POs, their management, they, they go by like a strict number basis. If you're off by a digit, like you said, yeah, you're not getting paid. But mm-hmm. the thing is humans aren't good at that. You know, like naturally, like you and me, like as smart as like we might be, we're not going to memorize like 20 digit numbers consistently. No. And like a yeah. driver might be expected to memorize what, like 10 of those mm-hmm. crazy stuff. So the thing is like, that's where not having that automation piece to bridge things becomes really frustrating because now you think that software is harming your business. It's like, well, shit. Now the, like the shipper software is actively harming my ability to get paid. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I just, <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it really is. Like, I mean, it's just so, it's just so confusing.